So a common question that I get is, why are my hands numb or why are my hands tingly? And as a chiropractor, I approach that from a couple different angles. Uh, so first of all, I rule out any type of uh, injury to the nerves that run to the hand. Uh, the carpal tunnel is in the wrist, and in the carpal tunnel there's several tendons that pass through a small space along with the nerve. And if those tendons get irritated, the nerve can, they can swell, and that can irritate the nerve. That can cause numbness and tingling in the hands and fingers. There can also be a vascular issue, meaning that the blood supply isn't quite getting to the hand. Um, there can also be uh, injury places further up the arm. There's different muscles uh, in the forearm, in the upper arm, in the shoulder blade, where the nerves can actually get pinched off. And if those nerves get pinched off by those tight muscles, that can actually create sort of a uh, sensation of numbness or tingling or even falling asleep in the hands. Probably the most common place that it actually starts, that the numbness and tingling in the hands starts, is in the neck. Now, in a lot of cases, the person might not have neck pain or neck discomfort, but what happens is, as there is a problem in the neck, it very gently pinches off on the nerve, not enough to cause pain, but then further down the arm, uh, it makes it more, the nerve more irritable. And then the muscles further down the arm each tighten up as they go down. And so what can happen is you can end up with numbness and tingling in the hands and fingers, and the real problem could be traced back all the way to the neck. And in fact, that's one of the reasons why some carpal tunnel surgeries are not successful, is because the carpal tunnel surgery focuses on the wrist, but it completely ignores any of the additional sites above the wrist, above the elbow and into the neck, that the nerve can actually get pinched off in. 